So the island's devs have done it again. We have another update. This is like the, what is this, like the third update in a row. They've been going crazy with updates in this game. It's really cool to have updates. So, so before we start off with this, I just want to give a huge shout out to the devs for being awesome. They've just been crazy working hard and um, they've got, we've got all these new items and stuff. We got this like new spell book from last week. We got a bunch of stuff with this new update. I can't wait to show you everything that they added to the game. Lots of changes, lots of additions. Let's get started. Oh yeah. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So for First things first, I'm going to show you we have a new mob. Well, there's actually a new mob in the game. And to see it, we got to go over here to Bufflecore Island, or you can go straight into the diamond mines there in both. I see them a lot more inside Bufflecore Island, though. So obviously, you have the Bufflecore here. They're all active. And then if you come over here a little further, you're going to notice something a little sus. See that right there? Look at this. It's a little sus. It looks like smaller than like a typical ore, right? It looks like a coal ore, like coal node, rather. And check this out. Bink. Oh, it's not. It's a crazy looking mimic. So it can actually mimic ore. It looks like like a, like a some kind of node so you can blast that and what it does is it will give you um, basalt and coal currently so you can see right here it gave me five basalt and five coal now speaking of we do have a new block in the game and or it's called or actually it's not an ore it's a rock i always say or it's only a rock oh this guy just i think it's like a farming spot because they're always they're always spawning here. So you can see this is the new um, block that you get. This is just basalt. And it looks kind of cool. It's like, it's kind of hard to see right now, I know. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to go back to my island. And this is what the block looks like. I'm going to turn off shadows. That way you can see it a little bit better because it's kind of hard to see without the with the shadows on. Actually, it hasn't made any difference. But there you go. Now you can see it. So it looks really neat. Kind of like a, just a different style of stone. It kind of reminds me of um, this one here. What is it called? Oh, yeah, slate. It kind of reminds me of slate a little bit, but like more of a messy slate. So check this out. I'm going to put it right next to slate. Yeah, it's darker than slate. That's kind of neat. Um, um, now they do have varying um, versions of this. They have um, regular. Oof, I just fell. So they have regular. This is the this is the regular version of the basalt, and they do have um, smooth bricks, tiles, carved stairs, and slabs. I'm gonna show you those real quick. All right, so this is the smooth version. I just made three of them real quick. It just adds that little border, like you usually see. It cleans it up a little bit too. And then here is the brick version. So this is just standard brick. It looks kind of smooth too. You see, it has that little bit of that smooth look. Now you can't make any other kind of variants of the smooth. You can only do um, just straight up smooth. And then here's the tiled version. So you can see it's a lot more detailed. Tiled typically has more broken down stuff. And then, of course, we got the card version. So this is the card variant. It looks a lot like this one, but you can see it doesn't have like the little, it has less lines. Basically, just big square there. Speaking of changes, you can see I just got 250 coins for my payout. This is for VIP players. And of course, I'm going to get my Pro Pass update as well. So they did increase it. It went from 100 to 250. And then also, Pro Pass went from 500 to 650. I don't really know. I don't, I mean, it's not really that big of a benefit, but maybe for, you know, AFKing overnight, I mean, every 30 minutes minutes you're making pretty decent at that point right i mean 250 over two hours you get another thousand coins in your bank not too bad so these are basalt and i didn't show you let me show you these slabs and such so if you go into your workbench you should be able to type in slab go over to this one here the flat one actually i think it might be the stone one and we got to find basalt there it is so you can do um yeah so instead of here it's in the brick one so you could do the basic one here or here so i don't have any bricks right now let me go and break some down all right so we'll make like three of these and we'll just just make we'll make one of these and of course they also have stairs so let me do the stairs real quick so for basalt stairs you want to click on this one and then for the basalt brick stairs click on this one and go to the end and now we have it and this is what they look like so this is the brick version there's the stair right next to it and this is the non-brick version with the stair right next to it so that's what they look like also new with bricks are a couple others so they got like all these new ones so there's a buffalo core crystal brick that looks like this um i need i need i need 10 of them wow you need 10 of them that's insane they're really trying to burn buffalo core crystal I think. Look at that block. I wonder what it looks like. We got to go buy some. We're going to go buy some. The other thing they added is a pearl block, which looks like this. I can actually make it. So let's go and make one. It costs 10. 10 pearls. It's a great way to burn those two. So let's see what they look like. Pearl block. Let's see. I'll just put it on top of this. I mean, it's kind of cool. It has like pearl shapes in it. See it? It has like kind of a pearly look. They look like pearls. Now, compared to that to snow, I think it kind of looks like it reminds me of snow a little bit. Yeah, snow's almost just like it. The only difference is the pearl one's a little bit pinkish. There's a better shot of it in the shadows. It kind of has a pinkish tone, right? And this one has more of a blue tone for snow i probably for the for the cost i'd probably go with snow but like for izzy who loves pink this is probably a really cool block for her now one thing that's really cool about this buffalo core crystal block is you can i think you could step on it to make music so we're gonna try it out in a little bit so after lots of searching i finally got some buffalo core crystals this took forever like they're literally sold out everywhere so you're gonna want to grind for these yourself i got 17 of these a lot of them are from my shop that i bought out or already had on my account so let's see let's go and make a buffalo core crystal rock or block so i did preview this on uh uh, Supremo's Island. It's really funny. I'm going to actually show you that in a second, but um, it makes a really cool sound. Check this out. So if I put it on the ground, look it. 
It makes like a little chime sound. I think there's a cooldown on it because it's not doing it anymore. Here, I'm going to go to Supremo's Island real quick. All right, so you can see Supremo's got a ton of these here. Look at this. Listen to the sound it makes. I'll turn up my volume. I think it stops working. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it doesn't always work. There we go. Yeah, it sounds like like um, glass breaking. So I'm going to go sell these to him because you can use them. Boom. Just sold seven more to him. So it doesn't always work. It sounds like it sometimes does it. Oh, he thinks there's a five, five minute cooldown on each block. I actually think it's worse than that. All right. So you can hear it. it. I just jumped on it. And now he thinks he thinks it has like a five minute cooldown. So we're going to actually bring this back to him and give it to him. We'll let him keep it. So he's trying to make like a really cool like carpet that has sound. All right, let's see. I don't think it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not making any sounds to them. That's so weird. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and trade this to him. There you go, dude. You can take it. So yeah, you can see he's making this like crazy carpet. He's trying to do like the entire area, I think, sound. But it doesn't seem to be working. It was working better earlier where, when there was, you know, less people. Maybe it's because, oh, here we go. You just probably heard that. I think it's like maybe it's a global sound like trigger. So like if someone else already played it, then I can't play it for five minutes or something that's probably what it is so that was really cool the buffalo core um uh, crystal block i don't know i mean i think it would be cooler if it always made sound like you could always run over it over and over and over it. that'd be really cool but i think because it's a global sound it could get really annoying and probably laggy so the other thing i wanted to show you is something really cool see how it's nighttime right now well the devs finally granted a wish of mine that i've had for so long i've had this wish for so long my gosh i've asked for it and i've gotten a lot of no's i got a lot of no dv no it, it, it no i'm not going to say what they said but they had the reasons and I, you know i understood the reasons but now they finally broke i finally caved they finally caved they finally caved to this one and it is the build light now before i click on this i do want to make something clear you know there's other things that yeah that'd probably be more important than these features that i'm asking for or talking to the devs about including gameplay balances all that kind of stuff so before you throw hate at me like well dv there's other things you should have had them do they are doing it on their own timeline so yeah they're doing a lot of things in parallel to this if they can throw a few things that are small for us um it seems like that's what they're doing so you know give them some time to you know continue working on the game so before you throw hate my way i'm not guiding them on a roadmap or anything like that okay i'm not telling them what to do they just do what they want <laughs> they just do what they want but i'm super grateful for this one and so i'm going to show you this real quick even though it's daytime now check this out so if i click on day and night cycle you can actually now this is by the way this is only pro pass this is only pro pass you can now toggle daylight so like if it's nighttime while you're working you're like trying to build something that's that's really dark say you're working with like coal blocks so like you're working with these right and you're trying to build something really cool like a really cool statue that's maybe mostly dark blocks and for example over here so i'm gonna go to a dark area i'm gonna start building some stuff that's dark well you can see how are you supposed to see the blocks you can barely see them the only reason why you see it on screen right now if you do see it is because i've brightened my screen so my recording is actually brightened but on my monitor right now it's completely pitch black like it's no different than the sky than the night sky in the background um i can't even see the blocks if i were to walk i don't know where to walk but you can see it on the screen it is a little lighter now with this new um tool if you have pro pass you can now change the time of day on your island this should not i don't think it does it should not affect um fireflies and such so it's not like you're gonna be able to like game the system so if the global time is you know technically nighttime then you're not gonna see fireflies okay so don't worry if it's supposed to be daytime you're not gonna see fireflies if you um toggle to nighttime you're not gonna see fireflies at least that's not how it should be working um let's just confirm that real quick but i'm pretty sure we're not gonna suddenly start seeing fireflies fireflies that'd be really weird in fact i don't think i do i have even trees yeah i have trees out here let's go see if there are any fireflies out here they sh there shouldn't be yeah so it looks like the bees are still going exactly what i was recommending to them because for you know builders i know this might not be important to a lot of players but for builders who are designing really big islands like this one look at this imagine me trying to work in this darkness it's so hard to work in this darkness so when you're you know dealing with like dark areas i can go like this especially when i'm doing videos too you can still see me um sometimes it gets a little glitchy let's click that again there we go. So it's daytime now, and now it can finally work. So you can just keep it toggled on, and if it turns into night again, you can toggle it back. So you might have to click it a few times because it does get a little buggy. They added so many other things to this game update, but you know what? I'm going to show you a couple other things first. First up, they added a new quest inside the quest menu. You're going to find available, and you're going to scroll down, and you're going to see something from uh, Foco, which is grow flowers. So you see grow flowers for the florist. Foco. Um, looks like we have like learn to fish and stuff too. It looks like, oh, these are these seem like they're new. Maybe they're not. But some of these look like they're new but for growing flowers so you can see you can talk to foco at the hub capture you know a bee it looks like you have to do two red proto lilies these don't look too bad breed the red lilies together breed more so it's almost like a tutorial as well which is really cool so they're teaching you how to breed the flowers they're teaching you how to flower like water flowers um and also talking to foco at the hub so i'm gonna go ahead and start that one we're gonna go to the hub real quick see look how look how easy it is to see this so much easier all right so we're gonna go talk to foco he should be right here next to the instruments or the game pass area so talk to him you can see i just completed that step in the tutorial or the quest and he's gonna make me basically capture a bee 
So they are attracted to trees surrounding me by many flowers. So they're really working on onboarding um, players. I say onboarding, but like tutorial and like getting players used to certain gameplay mechanics that they wouldn't have been familiar with otherwise. So now we can go capture a bee. Let's go and just reset and we'll get a net and we need to find bees. Well, we know bees are over there because that's a beehive location. So I'm just going to teleport to this and there's a bee. So let's capture the bee. All right. We got the bee. It says place that down those flowers I gave you. So he gave me some flowers. Watering can try watering some lilies. So he must have given me lilies. Let's see. Yeah, he gave me. Uh, I think I might have had these already. Plant them down anyway. All right, let's water these. I have to water red lilies. There's another one right here. Okay, that one's done. And now I got to place two fertile red lilies. Are these fertile? Yeah, these are f fertile. So I'll just place two of those. Nice. Okay, so after 10 minutes, you'll see a new flower nearby. Sometimes you might end up breeding a dark gray flower, a mundane flower. Mundane flowers cannot be used to craft things, but hey, that's, that's okay. It's part of learning the craft of. Oh man, it took us forever to understand what mundanes were. If you if you were around when breeding flowers first came out, we were so confused why we kept getting gray flowers. And I tried my best to get like information from the devs. They would never tell me anything. They're just like, keep trying. They were just teasing me and laughing. They were laughing at me. They were laughing at me. They bullied me. All right. So we got to wait 10 minutes, I think, for this one to finish. So we're, to, we're probably going to skip that. But um, as soon as we do this, it looks like um, we would have to breed more lilies. And then so that's another 10 minutes. And then we'd talk to him and we'd get um, two fertile yellow daisies. And I'm sure we go through the same loop or similar loop to do all colors. That's pretty cool. Something else that I wanted to mention real quick. It's it's kind of tiny, but it's the um, the fact that pro pass owners and VIP pass owners now receive coin drops from defeating bosses. So let's go defeat a boss. Let's head over here to the boss area. We're going to go to the Slime King. Now, what's cool about this is um, they also made a change where it will announce when a boss spawns. And it's going to be a short delay before this you know boss appears. I think they do this so that people have a chance to get over here and you know fight them. Because before, people would spawn them and you'd never be able to fight them. So that is a huge feature. You know, It's just a quality of life change that we really needed. So if you've been kind of like, man, I can never get it. I spawn this guy and I can never have it. Well, now you can. So you can see right here inside chat, it says Slime King summoned in five seconds. And then it says it's been summoned. So that's a great way for tracking like when you're you know farming on public servers or something and you just want to know what's being farmed and what's being summoned. You should be able to tell when people are summoning stuff and then you can maybe congregate over there and farm it. It's really nice. And you see, I did I did get coins, by the way. I don't know if you saw that, but I did get coins. I'm going to go and summon him again so you can see it, so you can check that out. Let me see. Is it, it? Yeah. So there he is. So I summoned him again and he, it did alert everyone. Oof. All right. So it should show coins. Yeah. 746 coins. So that's a really great, great way for you to like start farming coins. Just kill bosses as long as you have the VIP. So it's a little pay to win, right? It's not too bad, but it is a little pay to win. So just get at least the VIP pass. If you don't need the build light, I would say the V, you know, the VIP pass is the way to go. Um, I believe the VIP pass is, it looks like it's 399. So it's pretty cheap. It's not too bad. It's about the same as buying a kit inside Bed Wars. Now the pro rank is 1699. I think I thought it used to be more than that. I feel like they reduced the price. I thought it was like $18 or $20. That's pretty cool. Oh, they updated in August. So I guess it's always been that price. That's pretty cheap. Ooh, slime, 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 slime. Pink slime. Come on. Give me a pink sticky. Give me a pink sticky gear. There's such a pain to hit though. There we go. Oh man. I got tokens though. A really cool new feature that they added is when you talk to these guys like Farmer Cletus. Um, when you're, anytime you're viewing any kind of shop UI now with anyone, like if you're selling something, buying something from one of the NPCs. Now it's NPCs, not vending machines. Vending machines are different. Vending machines are still the old style system. But if you click on view shop, you should be able to see something here. It shows your coins. It also shows you can do like all. So if you want to get all the pumpkins, I don't know why it says not enough. I mean, I have plenty of coins. Hold up. View shop, pumpkin seeds. Oh, because I don't, I can't sell. That's right. I'm trying to buy. So you could also click all. That's pretty cool. I think you used to be able to do that anyway. But if you go over to the pumpkin seeds, I already bought the blueberry seeds. But if you go over here, you can um, increase it all the way up here. And you can also enter like a specific number. So if you want like two, you could do that. Let's do two, which is kind of nice. Let's try that again. Two, two, two. I guess it doesn't work. It doesn't work. But we can go over here and increase it. I have to let the devs know about that bug. That's a little bit of a bug. Tiny bug. Tiny bug. Okay. But um, it's really cool. New shop UI. Um, let's go out to the hub real quick. And I'm going to show you some other shop UIs. Oh, we could talk to this guy. So the adventure, new shop. Now you can see he's got a different setup here. I can sell all. I can sell all of these. I'm not selling all my green slimes. No, I got slime blocks. I'm buying slime blocks. And finally, this one's pretty cool. So if you go over to Spirit Island, they keep working on Spirit Island. I'm so happy that they keep adding stuff to this. It just adds so much more like flavor to the game that oh, you know older locations are getting updated. But if you go over to Catherine here, you can you know click on that, go view shop. And if you go into here, you'll notice there's a new thing. It's a spirit essence holder. So if you have any extra spirit essence, you can put them in this little cool looking stand and display it. So you can display your essence that way. Um, they do require 1000 spirit jars each. So that's a ton. I don't have that many. I have, let's see how many spirit jars. I think I have like 200 because I spent so much on the others. Yeah, I got 223. So that's going to be a ton of farming or questing. You're just going to have to, you're going to have to grind a lot for that. I mean, catch spirits. You get 50 for, you know, doing this. It's, it's not, it's not enough. So you're going to be grinding for a while for that. I'm not going to grind for it because I don't really care about the stand. But um, if that's something that you want to get so that 
can display your stand because I don't even have like, do I have any, I don't even have any extra essence. Um, let me go see, by the way, um, if you're looking for the green spirit and you have the pro pass, and I think this is a VIP pass feature as well, just do the shift plus P to go into free cam and you can fly around the island and just try to look for one of those greens. It's going to save you a lot of time just hunting and, you know, like I usually roam around, but instead you could just use your um, free cam and zoom around the map without having to run it. And, oh, this one gets me all the time. It's, it looks just like a green spirit. Let's go over here. I don't think there's any green spirits out. So one tip I would give you is if you didn't really want to do all the running around, you could just reload the server go to, or go to a fresh VIP server, go there, do the same thing I'm just doing now. And a lot of times they'll spawn outright. So if you're looking for a particular color, they might just straight up spawn at the start of the um, instance, the server instance, and then you can get your green spirit. Um, you could use the same feature, by the way, if you're looking for like anything on the islands. So if you're like trying to look for a particular ore, so if you go to like Buff Core Island over here and you want to find that basalt or something, you just pretty much go free cam and there's the basalt. This is what we were looking for. So this is the new node and it's kind of rare. You, like you don't see that many of them, but this is a great way if you're looking for a particular ore type, like you're trying to maybe look for electrite. Well, here's your electrite. So you just kind of zoom around. If you're trying to look for something inside the map, you can even kind of go inside the map too, which is kind of nice. So if you're looking for hidden tunnels, maybe stuff you've never seen before, like Easter eggs, you can see like in here, you can discover new places you've never been before. So it's a really cool feature. If you had VIP pass or pro, you know, pro pass, definitely worth just coming to back into islands and checking it out just to have fun with it because it is fun to just, you know, just kind of explore this way. Like you can go over here to Wizard Lizard Island and like you can go underground. Oh, I just got, I got this uh, quest complete. It's cool. But yeah, you can go over here. You can go underground. So if you're wondering if there are like are any like special like tunnels or anything like that, you can just go inside of it. And here's all like the different secret areas that the devs don't want you to know about. <laughs> There's not much in this island, unfortunately. Anyway, I hope that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, definitely a really cool feature, update, lots of cool things. I'm really excited about the build light. That's really helpful. So when I go back to my island, I can toggle that. I think it only happens when you first load in your island. So if you leave to the hub or something, I think it toggles off. So you can't mess with it again afterwards until you reload the VIP server. But otherwise, kind of cool. Got some new blocks. We got the new music block. That's kind of neat. The sound block rather, the buffer core one. And we got that new um, pearl one. That's kind of neat for if you like pink. If you like pink. I, I, like, I don't like light red, okay? That's it's too light for me. I like the vibrant. Anyway, thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next vid. Peace.